morning. Just had a bus ride. Oh, just had two passes to rope. This is one of them. I have a feeling I probably know what it is. Seeming as though it says fragile. It's parents Christmas presents so you can't look in there. <laughs> right, I'm off to the library. I also, James's Christmas gift arrived this morning so all of those are ready. Right, see you in a bit. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. It's currently 8.40. I'm about to go to class. I've got a cheeky filter coffee. And today is 17th of November and today marks one year, one year since I started working. Well, since I got the job offer from Starbucks. I kept a job for a whole year. Well done me! Um, funny thing is, that's actually the longest I've ever kept a job in Cambridge. Um, I don't really keep jobs in Cambridge because Cambridge is... Um, because everything's on Indeed, but Indeed is quite shit, so nobody ever replies to you. Um, yeah. I'm really excited and also... I booked my home time so last week I actually saw um, they announced a home travel for students and I took great advantage of it I was like okay let's sort this out now and then so I booked two weeks off from work three weeks really um, and I'm off on the weekend of the 5th and I come back on the week of the 28th. I am so excited to go home, two whole weeks at home. Um, and the reason I'm coming back is because I'm working New Year and then I'm just gonna stay, work a bit more and then go back to uni. So, I'm just sat by a tree by the way. <laughs> Chill. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Boom. I'm home. Now things are going to fall off. I've just come, like you can see, my chest is bright red. My face is bright red too. I just walked in my room and my room was fucking boiling. I was like, fucking hell, I'm not in a sauna. To realise, because everyone in my house can't stand the cold. They put the heating on constant, which means my radio was blaring because I had it on three because a couple of nights ago it got really cold in this house. I love the fact this is like a new built, well, new old-ish house. It's not old old, but it's not new new. It's kind of the middle. Um, so it does get quite cold. And oh my fucking God, you can feel it when it gets cold in this house. But I've just come back. It's absolutely fucking boiling in here, so I've just opened every single window in my house, <laughs> in my room, and I'm gonna sit, finish writing up the lesson plan, uh, session plan, um, 
it's five past eleven. I'm going to do that, just crack on with a whole load of work. I've got a load of um, physical theatre, my exam piece, we're writing like the script for it. So, and then I'm going to, I'm just going to do my drama therapy thing, then I'm going to do a workout, then I'm going to do my physical theatre stuff, because I need to do drama therapy first, because that is my next lesson. Enjoy. Oh my god, why is life so stressful at the moment? So, um done drama therapy i'm gonna give myself i only took 20 minutes to just type it up send it to the girls um and then if all's okay um we're gonna send it to marissa before class um and then just settling down to watch a seat an episode of sex and city because you know gotta love a bit of sex and city and also really not in the movie game of thrones right now um and there's a message from one of the managers going one of starbucks has one of our Starbucks baristas has tested positive for COVID. Um so they need shifts covered. Um but he wasn't in my bubble so it's okay. But I've asked maybe if I can like because I haven't had many shifts this month. I need the money and I've just messaged my boss going, he shoved me on three shifts that week. I really don't mind. <laughs> and there's like two mornings and evening, I'm like, chill. I'm chill about it because I am taking two weeks off, I need the money. So chill. See you in a bit. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. Well, you're probably wondering what the hell happened to me yesterday. I went to class, I came home, and then just shit hit the fan. So yesterday we had... Um somebody at work in we're in bubble rotors so there's two rotors you're not normally allowed to cross over um the bubble rotor um somebody got covid in the second bubble and um jeff texted me and was like yeah i can put you on rotor two for next week instead of being on rotor one so that um I can do four shifts instead of doing one shift, which was really nice. I'm really, I'm really glad. Um, so I've done that, and then um, more shit hit the fan. So we got a message early in the morning that Ness had um, fallen down the stairs and hurt her back. So we were like, okay what's the situ and like her stairs are like straight and then doo -doo -doo -doo. And she'd um missed a step and then just gone straight onto her back and smacked her head so i called her um one more mum nobody did anything so she called one more again and then they were like okay we'll send you an ambulance two hours later i messaged them like everything okay how's it going what did the ambulance say and they were like the ambulance hasn't turned up so when I was messaging them, um, she was actually on the phone to an ambulance person and was like, okay. So they messaged me like, she's most likely going to have to go to hospital. I was like, oh my God, do you need me? At this point, I was about to go to drama therapy. And they were like, yeah, because the other two aren't very well. So, um, so I jumped and ran over and these lovely lovely i can't express how lovely kind understanding they were um these two lovely paramedics turned up about 40 minutes later and checked her over checked her mobility um, and basically what they just came to the conclusion was she didn't have to go to hospital which we were all very glad of and she had to she's just really badly bruised her body um and she's gonna need a walking stick for a little bit so that happened and then i came home so that was about five ish and that ended at about seven ish because we went to argos and got her a walking stick and all of that so i came back made some food and sat in bed chatted with james rang my parents we had a really sad moment last night because a very very close family friend's mum died um 
so I just sent them a message saying that um, we're, we're all sending love which was really sad um, and today is Thursday I'm gonna brush my teeth and then finish writing up my monologue because it's quarter past 11 and I'm going to um, finish writing up my monologue and then at one o'clock I got a meeting with Nigel just to go over what my monologue is it's only a 20 minute meeting we'll chill about it so I'm ecstatic about it really but I don't know whether to run to Starbucks quickly because I've got a couple of quid left on my card I don't know but I slept really well last night I slept from quarter past 12 till 7 this morning so and then I've just been dozing in and out because I just wanted to because I've had such bad sleeps the rest of the week I just let myself kind of sleep in just kind of started working through what I needed to do today I've done a little bit of work this morning but yeah so I'll catch you in a bit so I'm just making some lunch using the mixed herbs I also need some chopped onions and we've got some mixed vegetables in there with some chopped tomatoes that they do stock and then a little bit more of stuff. Um, peppers. And we'll have a drink of this. This is the middle version of cranberry marshmallow reduced to lush. Alright. So this is the finished product. It looks quite weird, but it's um, minced beef, peppers, green beans. Oh, it's kind of that mixed vegetable. It's more veggies than meat at the moment. And then I just added some fresh peppers, some fresh tomatoes, and lots of seasoning. And then I've just got to write up my monologue. So I'm gonna do that while I eat because this is still quite hot. That was probably, I think the doorbell quickest like tutoring session because we're all currently working on our monologues there isn't really much he can do at this moment but we've got two weeks before it's actually due well we've got one week and then it's due the week after um it's due the 11th so um i'm aiming to get it in before the 11th because i go home on the 5th but i can speak to my parents to all that all out see me because this baby is a person. I've left the house. I'm going for a coffee because uh, my milk's gone off. I'm going to pick up more milk as well. See you in a bit. Oh good 
god, I just had a pure moment. So, um, I'm looking at doing an MA in drama therapy and I just was like researching and there was like Leslie University in Cambridge does a master's in drama therapy. I was like, no they don't, where are they based? I was like, of all the colleges in Cambridge, I swear not one of them is called Leslie. I looked it up. Cambridge in America, dudes. It's Cambridge, Massachusetts. I'm a fucking idiot. Hello. Currently Saturday. You can't even see what I'm doing. Um, and I've decided to make cupcakes. I made some last weekend. I have loads of baking stuff. I don't have a mixer, so I'm using a whisk. And it's working quite well. Home, we have a um, camward, so we just shove it all in and press a button. But here, I don't have 35 pounds to spend on a hand mixer. <laughs> and I went to Lidl, and they did at one point they did have um, like a six pound hand mixer, but the day I went back, it had gone. And they literally just had like the Kenwood cheap version. And the Kenwood is nearly 120 pounds, and they're still selling it for. 40 quid. I'm like, I can't justify 40 pounds out of my account right now. So, um, most of my baking stuff is actually from Lidl. So, I got self rising flour, caster sugar, um, vanilla extract, and these scales. Uh, these digital scales. I've been looking for some for a bit of a while. Um, so I've done my flour in here um, because this is the best bowl to mix the cake batter in and then I'm just doing, because I don't have a sieve, I'm not sieving the flour which is, I always sieve my flour, I just add it in gradually otherwise the last time I did it I just shoved it all in it went really lumpy and I had to stand there for like 10 minutes just whisking it. So I just do it bit by bit. I'm almost at the end. Um, they're literally all, oh, all that happens. Um, all my baking stuff I got from Little, which is just fab. Um, last week, as you will have seen, all you can hear is the oven. Um, I made some pork and cranberry sausage rolls. Oh my god, they were insane. I put the rest of the sausage meat in the freezer. And I kind of wish I had it now. I wish you really want to make some more. I'm willing more puff pastry. That's what I meant to pick up when I went to Lidl today. So, um, just put the rest in because I can't be bothered to bugger around anymore. This is where I've got to be really careful. Mm -hmm. I do, I do. I'm on a fast riding. Little bit for love. I'm not even listening to anything. I'm just. Come on. I love the flute. Honestly. Nothing beats good vanilla cupcake. And I know I'm being quite brutal here, but I have to be to mix all the ingredients together. Perfect. Okay. There's still a little bit left in here. The reason I got everything from Little is Little is five minutes away from where I live. So it's really easy. Let's just go and grab some ingredients. Right. All of this. Got a tray with all my cupcake cases in. And I'm just. Oh, I have it. Oh, I have it. Oh, I have it. Oh. Okay. <sighs> quick wash, quick dry. So, um. 
this from? No, actually, I got the cups which I used to do the flour, the sugar. But actually, I used these ones today from, I actually got some from Asda for like 150 um, because little didn't actually have any. Well, they did, they were 2 and I was like, I'd like to buy them. They're meant for kids, but you know, I don't really care. So, I'm just gonna take this. This is a one and a half teaspoon. And I just scoop it up, just drop it in to each, and then I will go back. this mess up and do all this washing up. Three, two, one. Boom. Um, these two needed to sit a while. I burnt cheese on the bottom of this last night as you can horrendously see. And then this has some tea marks here so I'm trying to get rid of those. That's just drying and um, I'm going to clean the sink in a minute. And the cupcakes are out. I caught these three because I've whacked it up quite high. I'm not quite used to this oven yet. So the cupcakes are out. This um, is cleaner. Just gotta give it an anti-back wipe. Um, and then I also wanna make a banana bread, but I don't have a banana bread tin, and that's the one thing I forgot to pick up today. I really need to make banana bread with all these bananas. Let's go. This is my dinner tonight. I've just got some hooey meat on some noodles with veggies and prawns. And let's and the best sauce. Just left that to got another load of washing. And then this is um, washings just on a spin load, and then that is to go in there when 